Uh, looked like Yanlon may have pushed out there a little bit, but he's not going to. And we've got the same build as last time coming down there. He has gone after the three racks expansion, and then he's going for a factory and a ghost academy. So uh, probably hoping to get some EMPs off on all those stalkers and stuff, and sentries, which could be great help indeed. Nexus nearly finishing up there. And another missile turret being built uh, by the natural expansion there because he is afraid of those void rays. Although I haven't seen any more coming out and uh, the Stargate is sitting there and it's not doing a whole lot at the moment. So uh, perhaps a bit preemptive with those missile turrets because of the one void ray. You'll see he has built two missile turrets now. Uh, so that is of course 200 minerals that could have been spent elsewhere. It's not going to be a big, big problem. Um, but of course no more void rays coming out as of yet. So the forge is being built there for the Protoss player so he can get some upgrades. We've got an orbital command coming up on the second expansion so he's going to have more scans, more uh, mules which is most likely what he would like to use if possible. And what's this I see in the production tab there? Uh, Fleet Beacon is going down, so uh, could we see a mothership? I believe we may, uh, once that finishes up, and I think our Terran buddy here is going to be a little bit surprised if that happens, uh, he hasn't scouted that out yet, I don't believe, no, he's only seen what is there, um, so the Fleet Beacon has finished up. Uh, what is going to happen here? Nothing just yet because he doesn't have the money. Uh, but looks like he's going to send a stalker out again just to check that there's nothing funny going on. Uh, units massing up here to try and hold this expansion for the Terran player. Now this missile turret could come in quite handy if we do see a mothership because of course uh, it will give him a bit of vision of the cloaked units. Uh, scan going down there, he's going to see all the units, but he's not going to see what's important, which is the fleet beacon, and a mothership is being produced at this expansion, uh, just going down, it's going to take a little while to come out, he's going to send a stalker up just to harass, maybe a little bit, and it looks as though the town player is going to take out his rocks and go for perhaps another expansion. Uh, he definitely has the minerals to do so. Uh, plenty of minerals in the bank there for a Terran player. And these siege tanks are not going to help to take out a mothership. Uh, but there is plenty of marines there. So this could be very, very interesting. Uh, hopefully he's got some energy. He's not. He's cooling down the mules uh, at a regular basis. So he doesn't have energy, any, any energy for a scan. Uh, one marine going out to the Zelnaga Tower. He's got both of those. So he will see anything if it comes through the thanks maybe he should send something out to the middle of the map just so you can see if there's anything coming through the middle there um, mother ship still just over halfway done there and we're having upgrades being researched for uh, ground attacks for all the, mar the marines and the marauders and we've got plus one on ground weapons for the zealots etc and the third base is going down for our Terran player there. And once this mothership comes out, he may well wish that he had those 400 minerals still in his bank. Uh, the mothership is out. All these units are going to disappear before your very eyes. Well, not so much disappear, because when you've got the everyone view on, of course, they don't disappear as much. Uh, he's moving out. Massive army here. Uh, 135 supply against 138, so it's very even, but that mothership could be the finishing unit here. Uh, tanks pulling up outside. Uh, he does have siege mode. He might want to siege those up because it could help a little bit, but he doesn't want to get caught in the wrong position. Pushing right up to the ramp now. Very, very risky here. Of course, he doesn't know this mothership is there yet. He hasn't seen it. Oh, there is the scan. He sees the mothership, and he is probably going to be thinking, what on earth? is going on here, I was not expecting that whatsoever, 
and I'm not quite sure if he's going to be able to hold this off. Uh, he's going to be able to pick off the units that are in vision, but I don't think he has any more scans left, and it looks like that is just about going to be it. I don't know, the supplies are still very even, actually. So, uh, with the right... I don't know, because most of the supplies are going to be... SCVs here for our Terran player with 63 SCVs against 46 probes. So uh, it looks as though the Protoss Yan Lol is going to walk straight in here with his cloaked units of the mothership, desperately trying to get a missile tower up there for some vision. Uh, but it didn't happen, and I don't think there's going to be enough here. Uh, he does have a scan, he could use it wisely. <laughs> this is not going to help at all units just disappearing there as they come down the ramp and Duxor looks like he's about to admit defeat uh, there's not going to be much he can do obviously in the fight he's going to more than likely wait until all his units are gone but there is not going to be enough uh, GG from Duxor there and Yan Lol takes the title of the first ever UK Starcraft.net amateur cup uh, with a 2-0 victory over our Terran player here, Yan Lol. So I hope you enjoyed those games. And we got to see a mother ship, so that's always great fun. And of course, uh, once again, as I said in the first video, if you are a player who's on the EU server and you're in platinum, bronze, silver or gold leagues, then uh, you may well want to check out UK Starcraft.net and get involved in their amateur tournament which is being held every Friday. They do hold a couple of other tournaments for EU players as well uh, for the Diamond and Master League players. So uh, no matter who you are, you may wish to check them out over there. Uh, UK Starcraft scene being built up uh, and I'm very pleased to see it at last. Some people from the UK getting involved and trying to make things happen. So... Uh, Thanks to them for hosting the tournament. I had fun in my one game that I played and lost to Duxor, but at least the player I lost to did get to the final. Uh, so I hope you enjoy it. Come check me out, ironhammers.org, uh, twitter.com slash ironhammer5, and of course subscribe to me on YouTube to keep up to date with all my latest videos. So take it easy, folks. Have a great week, and I'll see you next time.